After checking for general danger signs, continue the assessment by asking about the first main symptom. Ask. Does the child have cough or difficult breathing? If the mother replies yes, assess the child further. A child with cough may have pneumonia or another severe acute respiratory infection. You must be able to identify the few children with pneumonia among the many children with coughs or colds. If the child has a cough or difficult breathing, ask... For how long? It's important to know how long a child has been coughing, as a chronic cough, lasting for more than 30 days, may be a sign of tuberculosis, asthma or whooping cough. Determining whether a child has fast breathing is an important step in assessing a child with cough. Fast breathing is a sign of pneumonia. Count the number of breaths the child takes in one minute. When a child develops pneumonia, the lungs become stiff, making it more difficult to breathe. The child's breathing rate increases as the child's body tries to make up for lung stiffness and low oxygen. Because children's breathing rates slow down as they get older, the child's age must be taken into consideration when deciding whether fast breathing is present. To decide whether a child has fast breathing, you will count the number of breaths the child takes in one minute and compare it with the following cutoff rates. If the child is aged two months up to 12 months, the child has fast breathing if you count 50 breaths per minute or more. If the child is aged 12 months up to 5 years, the child has fast breathing if you count 40 breaths per minute or more. The child who is exactly 12 months old has fast breathing if you counted 40 breaths per minute or more. We will now watch while the health worker counts the number of breaths this seven-month-old child takes in one minute. Look for the breathing movement anywhere on the child's chest or abdomen. If you are not able to see this movement easily, ask the mother to lift the child's shirt. The child should be calm when you watch the child's breathing. If the child starts to cry or becomes upset, ask the mother to calm the child again before counting. The health worker is now ready to start counting the number of breaths in one minute. You may practice counting with her. We'll tell you when to start and stop counting. Select an area on the child's chest where you can see breathing movement. Prepare to start counting. Start counting now.
Stop counting. How many breaths did you count? The health worker counted 90 breaths per minute. Since the child is seven months old, he does have fast breathing. Next, look for chest in drawing. This child has chest in drawing. Chest in drawing occurs when the effort required to breathe in is much greater than normal. To look for chest in drawing, you must know when the child is breathing in. When the child breathes in, the upper chest and abdomen move out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in. This is a healthy child with normal breathing. When the child breathes in, the upper chest and abdomen move out. The lower chest also moves out. This child has chest in drawing. When the child breathes in, the upper chest and abdomen move out, as in the healthy child, but the lower chest moves in. Chest in drawing is this inward movement of the lower chest wall when the child breathes in. Look again. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in. When the child breathes in, the upper chest and abdomen move out, while the lower chest moves in. Now look for these movements in some children. Look for chest in drawing when the child breathes in. This child has chest in drawing. The lower chest wall goes in when the child breathes in. This child has chest in drawing. Chest in drawing is only significant if it is present all the time and definitely visible. This child is breastfeeding. If you see chest in drawing only when a child is upset or trying to feed, but not when resting peacefully, do not call it chest in drawing. This child only has chest in drawing when feeding. Therefore, we would not call it chest in drawing. Next, look and listen for stridor. Stridor is a harsh noise made when the child is breathing in. It sounds like this. to see when the child is breathing in. And then, since the noise may be difficult to hear, listen for stridor by placing your ear near the child's mouth. Breathing in, breathing in, breathing in. This child 
has a harsh noise on breathing in. This child has stridor. If a calm child has stridor, the child is in danger of a life-threatening airway obstruction. Sometimes, you will hear a wet noise if the nose is blocked. Clear the nose and listen again. Or you may hear other noises when the child breathes out, such as wheezing. These are not stridor. Often, a child who is not very ill will have stridor only when the child is crying or upset. So be sure to look and listen for stridor only when the child is calm. That completes the assessment for cough or difficult breathing.